and if it was down to well wishes that were coming from uh, foreign shores, yeah. <laughs> um, because um, the Irish, I think, are trying to take over, I think. <laughs> yeah, they are. Well, so, yeah. But she's definitely been putting the work in, and I think, to be honest with you, I think for the amount of work and the commitment that she gives to the game, I think she probably would feel that she should have had more out of it by now, but I think it's her time. Yeah. I think so many people would be so happy to see her win. And yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, obviously, when you put so much hard work and dedication into something, it hurts more when it doesn't happen and then almost builds the pressure next time you're in that situation. And it would it'd actually be amazing to see if Danielle does go on and win this, how much that could release her and, and how fast she could go in the game then. I think, I think the problem is with, and again, for, for players who are out there, when you're forever the bridesmaid and you're knocking quarters and semis but you can't quite get over the line, it's almost like the floodgates open once you're able to do it and you learn how to win a tournament because there is a difference, there's an art form. Yeah. Once you've done it and you've cracked it, the flood, the floodgates open. So, like I say, it would be interesting. But if she wasn't to do it, you you know, it's again, it's a progression for her and she should be looking to build on that through the year. So, yeah, she's doing great. Well, she has to sit and watch right now. Harriet Haynes with the first opportunity here. I think the early part of the tournament, I think up until the quarterfinals, Harriet had only lost one frame. Amazing. So she was Flying she along. She was on fire. I think it was only the quarters. I think a quarter final was 5 1. And a semi-final, sorry, a, a last 16 was 5-1. Had a 5-3 with, with Kirsty Lee Davis. Um, yeah, Kirsty had a good chance in that match as well to to go 4-3 up and didn't take it, missed an eight ball, and Harriet then grabbed it and, and ran with it. Yeah, she had some awkward queuing, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. awkward queuing, and mm. yeah, that was on that eight ball, but well, Harriet's not going to get out here in the first chance for her, so Danielle will get some table time in this first frame. I think she can clip this yellow back. Yeah. It's an option on here. I did manage to see part of Harriet and Emma's semi-final and I thought Harriet was very composed and played very well in that match a disappointment there it's going to get a chance to win this frame then. Maybe not. That's gone awkward. Mm. Didn't need to get that close to the eight ball here. This could be a big shot early in the match. That's a good effort. And it's going to stay wide. Always look wide on that jaw. And now Danielle's got a chance to steal away this first frame. Harriet, two good chances to win it, not taking it. twice now she's tried to bump that out uh, probably forced into taking on now I do wonder whether she could have tried to drop in inside of it rather than trying to move it excellent that's a, that's a great shot for the first frame to settle yeah. settle yourself down because they're, they're pretty tricky them you've got to yeah. be you've got to stay down on the shot you've got to cue it 
And there's going to be some major nerves out there as well. You know, yeah. Just settle into this match. Oh, could have done with just giving that a little bit more. Mm. Just let the cue ball come off the cushion and make that a little bit easier. Still should make it, but it just needs a bit more cueing now. Lovely. Right in the heart. Maybe she just like playing off the cushion. <laughs> Oh, Daniel Randall gets the first frame on the board. 1-0. Harriet had her chances twice. She'll be very disappointed that she hasn't been able to take those two chances. Harriet had a great run through the tournament. So has Danielle. Beating Amy Beecham in the semi-final. Big statement that. Four frames to three in the end, ran the clock down. Then Sarah will hate 5 0 in the quarterfinals. Flickcroft Hurst, 5 1 in the last 16. 5 1 over Dawn Simbalati in the last 32. It really has been a, a phenomenal performance, really. Mm. Only Amy, really, to get anything out of her. I think. I th I th I, again, if you look at on on a balance of the ho over the whole weekend, I think both of them have are definitely worthy finalists. It's not as if sometimes you have rounds where people get away with murder and yeah, <laughs> and they sneak through. But no, they've they've been consistent over the whole weekend. I think Danielle as well is showing, as a pool player, a lot more maturity now, um, a lot more consistency. And I think, obviously, it helps where she's playing and who she's playing with and practicing with. Yeah. Um, let me see. The main practice areas Red plays out of is it room 21. Um, and, of course, even when she goes home, the whole family plays. So. Yeah. <laughs> Poor mad family. Oh, yes. Yeah, sisters won or made the world doubles final. Yeah. Coming up just short against the English pairing. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they played myself. you in the semis, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they beat myself and uh, Lars in the in the semi final. They play very well actually, Carrie and, and Megan. Tricky red here, so leaving a hard ball till last, having to play into it. Needs to land on it, and the eight ball's not wide open. And she snookered herself. Always the risk when you're leaving it until the last ball to develop. It really is full out attack for Harriet. <laughs> Very rare that you see a pull back. I think as well with the ladies game, I think if you are of that style, it, it does intimidate a lot of players and it has a desired effect. But I think if you get to, to the players that are playing in the finals and the semis, not so much but it still continually puts pressure on you. And if you are in, a, in an edgy situation with the cameras and on the streaming tables, you know, and that's a great shot. Yeah, Harry, it's just Again, it just keeps the pressure on constantly. Yeah, you would say with the the, the field as in, a gen as in general, if you're doing what Harriet's doing in the pro game, chase a finish, miss your last ball, you're going to lose yeah. every time. But in the... Ladies' game, it doesn't happen as much. You find a way to get back into it, like she almost did there. She played a, played a really good snooker and yeah. forcing Danielle to respond. It's still not ideal, but you can get away with it just that little bit more. I think so, but what I have noticed this weekend is that, again, the, 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 the standard 
as is definitely you can see it's it's getting just better and better it's not going to stop yeah it's gonna only going to go rise yeah um but to be fair harriet is a class player class player Oh, is there a gap? Oh. If there's a gap there, no, tap of the table tells us there's no gap. Excellent shot then. She must have known there was no gap and just had the left-hand side to play in. These cameras are confusing. Yeah. I think it goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that helps Danielle. It's got the red away from that bottom corner. Yeah. She might even be able to play safe on the, the only ball that's on the cushion. She might even take it on as a free shot. Depends how she sees it. I quite like it as a free shot to the yeah. top corner, stop it dead, and you've got the yellow top right if it goes in, and then you can get out from there. Yeah. Okay, it's not gone in. Is that just a bump to the right? Could have done without those two going together. Oh, left the gap for the double. Oh, little lucky there, Danielle. But again, where it is, she can develop those two yellows that have stuck together. And um, Yeah, just keep being patient. Yeah. Your control of the frame here. Just keep being patient. Keep wait, wait for your the right opportunity for you to clear these. Again, I think that's another thing that, that, that the ladies have, have learned um, in the sense that there used to be the, almost a pressure that when you did get an opportunity and you were on the stream or you were televised that you had to almost entertain and be going for everything and and people were consequently consequently losing matches because they were didn't want to look like they didn't want to go for it and they were being but this is part of the game and and this is what people do want to see Bald. yeah I, I think um I've commentated and I've kind of been quite open about this a few times, chatted to, to Emma about this a few times because I've commentated on her, some of her major finals more than more than others. And yeah. I always felt like she's trying to kind of carry the weight of the ladies game on her shoulders rather than actually just being selfish and winning the match. Yeah. Um, and actually, I think now that we're seeing so many more matches get the sort of exposure the game deserves that that's not that's not happening as much anymore. We're really I starting to see that go. And I think you'll see that in Emma's results moving forward as well. Yeah, because I think she did an excellent job, obviously, during lockdown with, with some of the stuff that was going out and then since then. But she has been trying to carry that on her own. Um, and I, I think now there's a hopefully there's a few more of us that can carry that. I think the, she, the battle in the ladies game for, for the season is going to be fantastic. Yeah, and she can actually just concentrate on her own game and, and not have to feel like she has to carry the torch for the ladies. However, I will say... She actually has done an amazing job, Emma. Amazing job. Yeah, completely agree. Last 16, sorry, quarter final for Emma. Losing out to Harriet. There's John McAllister and Sean Sharkey watching on. John, the former world champion, Danielle's partner. a really nice position where they just connect. to be straight just wants that little bit of angle looks like yeah. she's just about she can stand up for that yeah yeah another half a roll would have been handy but still enough there brilliant yeah don't think 
think that's straight enough for us. It? <laughs> it's a great shot. Yeah, Danny Arundel, 2 0 in front. And the other thing that happens with that frame there tells Harry Evans, if you're going to go, you've got to get them. Because Danielle's ready to counter however she needs to. Trying to stay composed and not think ahead here, I think might be a challenge, might be <laughs> at some point it's going to sort of dawn on her that where she is and what she's doing, and that's a dangerous thought. Harriet's been there before. She's been 2-0 two now, two now down in big finals before. It won't phase her. Time to respond. Race to five frames here. Oh, Danielle to break next. In off on her first break. She'll look to try and put that right. Get the cue ball under more control. Good power though. If you weren't with us earlier, Sarah Trudgett took down the women's plate. The event here for the women's series split into two after the group stages. Top of the group go through into the main event, top two, bottom two into the plate event. And play down to, is it top one? Bottom one. Bottom so one. Oh, it's um, changed this year. Yeah, the format's changed. So, um, yeah, I learned as I was going along. <laughs> so, so basically, your group winners are straight through to the last 32 in the main event. Your second place finishes in the group uh, have a prelim in the main event. If they win, they enter the last 32. If they lose, they enter the plate. And your third place finishes in the, the group are automatically in the plate. If you finish fourth, you go home. Oh, okay, okay. So slight change, yeah. Yeah, so a little confusing, but we got it quite quickly, so it's yeah. all right. <laughs> no, it, it puts something on every single match. Mm. It really does. Yellow balls in play. Well, good break from Danielle. Not a good first shot, though. Put herself in a little bit of bother here. Not sure there's anything on unless that plants the top. It doesn't look like it does. No, it's not even close. Looks like she tried to squeeze it in. Opens them up anyway. Excellent shot. Yeah, lovely. Red on the side cushion, just in an awkward spot. Interesting to see how she tries to play that. Does she just try and play on it? Maybe red off it, open up a little bit more. It's quite interesting because the, the one that's on the cushion, I'd be looking at taking that to the top pocket and just running through to play the ball she's just played into the opposite middle. Yeah. She's actually bumped that really nicely. And the problem is it's slightly off angle here. Yeah. Yeah, slightly off angle, so cue ball's gonna run loose. Wow. She thought she was in off. She was back to her chair. But I wonder if she thought she was getting a cannon on the eight ball there. It was a slightly strange shot, if not. It was quite heavy, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and in similar scenario to the previous frame, she's gone for a finish, missed her last ball, and leaves Danielle a chance to counter clear. 
This time, Daniel might not need as much safety play. This might be just a case of go. They are all there now. You could almost literally just drop these in. So you drop it into the corner, the one across to the middle. I fully expect Danielle to take these out and go into a 3 0 lead. I think she might have run to that, that throw a bit too far. I'm sure she'll be okay, but. Seemed a strange choice not to take the yellow at the bottom of the table. Drop that one in, but managed to come around this yellow and actually worked out okay. Now needs a good positional shot. She should naturally just be coming around off of the two cushions, really. She should come out lovely for this. Just needs to avoid the black. Big shot coming up here. She'd love to have got twice as close to this one than yeah. she has. It's amazing. Just going too far two shots ago, she wanted to be straight in on this yellow into the right centre and, and it would have been pretty simple from there. Just puts the pressure on. Right in the heart of the pocket though. Great queuing. For her first final, she's looking very confident, isn't she? Absolutely. Queuing really well. This time, try to focus. I think she might have been slightly concerned about the in-off. Just missed it on the thin side, trying to float it in. I think I would have. Yeah, I think if I actually it. watching that, if she gets potting angle, I think she's very close to in-off. I think we heard a voice in the crowd saying it's okay. Um. Big shot here for Harriet. If she can find something, hey, it's not easy. <laughs> but if she can find something, it will really hurt. Oh, yeah. She's trying to put the red in front of the eight ball. Not necessarily behind likes. it, I think trying to block it, but she hasn't quite managed it. Sort of almost trying to line the red cue ball and an eight ball up there. Just slightly got the line wrong. So a second chance for Danielle. And in it goes, 3-0. Well, wow. what a storyline we have brewing here. 3-0 to Danielle, 19 minutes 48 left. She dropped five frames in five matches here. Really? Quite incredible. As I said, she's, she's actually queuing as if she's full of confidence and hasn't got a care in the world, which is exactly what you need to be doing. We know that she hammers the practice table, but she looks like she's in as good a rhythm and, and mm. queuing as well as certainly I've ever seen her. I think as well, that last shot that Harriet played, although we, we know what she was trying to do. They're the sort of things that you go back to your chair and you think, I should have just gone for the double. Should have just, yeah. <laughs> should have just launched it. <laughs> yeah. The, the thing is, it, so if she gets the, if she gets the eight ball, sorry, if she gets her red in the pocket and blocking the eight ball, then that's not too bad. But if she gets the red in front of the eight ball, even if she was to get cue ball in hand, she may not be able to do much with it anyway. So it could have caused her some problems. Yeah. Might have held her in the frame a little bit longer. Depends how much gap there was between the red and the eight ball and the cushion and whether she could have put ha ball in hand, got short position. Yeah. Highly unlikely that Danielle would have fouled from it. So I guess it would have been a case of it, that might have opened it up. But yeah, I think the error though, if, if Harriet's looking back at that frame, the Harriet, that the error is not getting out when she had her opportunity. 
slightly strange shot when she bumped the ball into the open and sort of played a bit of a nothing shot into the top right hand corner. I think also with with the international rules, the, you always had the conversation. It's it's not how good your A game is, it's how good yeah. your B game is, and how you can, can tighten the game up a little bit. Whereas sometimes with the international rules, there is nowhere to hide. You are exposed. Yeah. So if your A game isn't there. See you later. <laughs> yeah, you that's it. So you, you, it's very difficult to tighten the game up. But again, like you say, if you oh, that's not straight into the middle. Yeah, oh. that's not going great for, for H. But yeah, it's you. You have to be. You you can't tighten the the match up. But if if Harriet obviously can't go chasing frames. Um, again, if they're not, if she's not one hundred percent, she just needs to hold back a little bit. That's not her game, though, is it? It's not. She's, she it's is all not. out. But it's worked for her, so you yeah. can't, you can't <laughs> say it's wrong. Oh, absolutely. She's the number one player. <laughs> she's, she's, she's got herself right to the top of the game. So you can't argue yeah. with that at oh, all. No, I'm not arguing at all. I'm just... So Danielle gets the first opportunity here. And she needs to guard against doing the same thing. You question marks on this finish. Does the eight ball go bottom left once the reds are out of the way? If so, the, the red to the right of it becomes a good last ball, but I don't think it does. In which case, the eight ball needs some work. But again, with the yellow over the middle pocket, she can use the red that's by the black and the yellow to actually develop them and then have some quite handy, but she'd have to do it early. Yeah. Because obviously she's got that banker if she, those bankers available if she gets stuck. Yeah, I think I'd like to have seen her try and get on it by now, actually. Mm. And then play into it and then work your way from there. Still not on the ball to be able to do it. Again, she could. She actually cut the one at the bottom in and yep. take that into the bottom left and try and disturb that side of the table. Because you've got to do something now. Because if you keep potting and taking the easy, the, the the open ones, you've got nothing to to work with. So a little bit thinner on this one than she wanted. I'm just wondering, wondering if, if she clips this one back, where the natural is. I think the natural's through the cap, top cushion, side cushion, and towards the line she wants to be on the red on the right-hand side, and then she can still get out. I think it's that thin. Uh, she's decided yeah. to pull back, yeah. I like that. Don't mm. keep chasing it if it's not there. Harriet's got a nice opportunity to tighten this up now, and... Draw the foul while developing balls. I think she might have left a gap for a red, but still not anything really. The red might go, but not easy. If the red does go in the middle, I wonder how thin it is, whether she can avoid the knuckle at the top and, and actually come back down into the problem area. Uh, she's digging down on it, so I guess not. area of the table is getting messier and messier. But I think this will suit Harriet at this point in the match. The messier, the better. Yeah. <laughs> it's just imperative she wins this frame, really. She's a big favourite for it right now. Is a good shot.
What a shot. Well, hand of apology. Yeah. Does the double go? If the double goes, she can land on the last red. Not sure the yellow is it's very close to in the way. From the overhead, it looks on. The main camera, it doesn't. I'm going to say it does. I think it does. It's not a bad outcome at all. Cued that well, because she is right under it at the moment, and she's she's cued that lovely. needs here. Finishing touches required to this, but very important she gets out now. I think ideally she would want the one to the bottom bottom left as her last ball. Doesn't want to land absolutely straight. Little bit touchy now. Played very well. Mm. If not too well. I don't think she could believe she could come up that <laughs> high from that shot. that well yeah another day that throws a little bit wider you miss it in the wrong side of the pocket and, or make it in the wrong side of the pocket Rip. held herself together very well there under big pressure at three nil down and harriet has done what she needed to do and ground out a frame gets herself back to three one we're edging closer to that 15 seconds a shot what a fascinating match we have set up here Sort of the favourite versus the underdog, but the underdog's got the lead, and can the favourite pay her back? I think that frame's massive. I think, obviously. Yeah, I mean, 4 0 when it's. Yeah. You feel like there's no way back because of the match clock. She needs to try and do anything she can to stop thinking about. What's on the what's on the line here? It's just a frame. It's just a game of pool. It's just another frame. That's easy for you to say. Well, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> very easy for me to say from the commentary box. But oh yeah, we win every time. I'm sitting here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but I have to say, you know, even though she's lost that frame, she's still, you know, sat there smiling, chatting to people behind her, and just quite relaxed about it. As you alluded to earlier, with the, the amount of frames, the, the, there's so few frames that she's lost during the weekend. Why wouldn't she be? I mean, she's she's feeling good. She's looking good. Um, yeah. There's, there's no reason for her at this point, especially at 3-1, to be starting to panic or, or anything like that. And and But I'm sure in Harriet's head, as she's thinking, if I can just nick the next one, my experience and and the fact that maybe the, my opponent hasn't been in this position before, I can use to my advantage. So this is where she needs to keep her cool. And Do you think there's any, any element of the fact, and I know you haven't played a huge amount of, of time matches yourselves, but... Um, it's the fact that trying to win your first title, she, you know, if it was a straight race to five, she's still got to go out there and win two frames. But right now, that match clock could start to come into it. We're, you know, we're edging closer to 15 seconds. She might, in a strange way, almost feel like she could almost fall over the line. Yeah, uh, again, it all comes down to experience of the, of the match clock. As we, uh, I, I was with you on the, on the commentary for the, the men's semi-final. Again, we were talking about how utilising the clock and, and going as, as fast as you can when the, the opportunity was there, but towards the latter stages of the game when the clock was ticking down, it was slow it down yeah. and hold on to what you've got. Yeah. So it's it's almost like a contradiction in terms, but that will come with experience. But I, I do think the fact that it, in your head, 
you don't necessarily mean need to get those two extra frames. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I would have almost, I if I was in Danielle's corner before that frame, seeing how they came out, yeah. I'd have almost been saying to her, the finish isn't on, why not, you know, Tie mess the right table up. up. Yeah. Mess the table up again now. Mm. Harry, you know Harriet's aggressive, play the player. Mm. Ask her a question. Does she want to keep chasing a finish here? And you know, don't you know? That was a, a low percentage finish that Danielle took on, and it and it ended up hurting her. Yeah. If she had just messed up the table and said, "Come on, then, Harry," and you know, I know that's not the way players think out there, but no, it, it probably would have served her well. I do think as time as the game evolves with the shot clock, because this is still relatively new and in its yeah. inf infancy, I think that will become another tactical aspect to the rules, the clock will become uh, more instrumental in the way people are thinking and the way they're playing the game than ever before. But it's just that we're still in, we're still in the learning stage. Yeah. And, and as people gain that experience, I think you'll find that in the future. Yeah, with everything I uh, sort of was saying there on that previous visit, the fact that Harriet, the uh, fact that Danielle's come up dry, Harriet's going to get first go here. And, you know, it's not, then these finishes aren't easy. Okay, no. This has actually come out okay on this occasion, but you've got the same red above the middle pocket. You've got one on in the against the red in the middle of the tape. So there's just some, you know, this isn't the worst outcome for Danielle. You know, Harriet might get out here and, and good luck to her if she does, but from Danielle's perspective, you know, it's not the worst to see Harriet having first chances. Sure. Not on on this occasion, so it develops her worst ball and that really is a nice layer of the table for her now. Danielle needs to come up with a big safety shot. She'd love to be able to see the sort of second yellow down for three in a line. Easier one to play safe off. I'm not sure how much of it she can see. I think I'd be tempted, uh, yeah, unless you can see, if you can't see full ball, but you could literally top it through to try and get. Yeah. Okay, not much room here. Oh, that'll work. That'll work. It's a great effort. A bit fortunate, Very obviously, fortunate, with, the, yeah. with the kiss, but she'll take it all day long, yeah. If she catches that ball thicker, she mm. loses the frame off it. Full ball contact and Harriet clears up. So it is very fortunate to finish there. Harriet took it on the other way, but with an element of safety. And she's bumped the ball back to where it was originally. <laughs> so she got it out. Now she's put it back. Can't make your mind up, Harriet. The irony. Yeah. This time she does get a kiss that hurts her. Could have done without that kiss on the yellow. Would have ended up in a very nice area of the table. It was almost an identical line to the previous shot, wasn't it? Yeah. You just need a touch more side to miss that, avoid that, and then get that tucked right into that. Great pop from Harry. Yeah, into that, behind that area in the bottom left-hand side. Again, Harriet's queuing lovely still. She's, And I think she might, and it, it might be worthwhile her, Taking the ball in, oh, she, she's going to call me a liar, but I probably would have played the double. That's a strange choice. Yeah, I would have run the, the put, took the ball into the middle and then played the double, and the shot that she, the, the ball she just potted, would be what I would be looking to land on. Well, actually, I say it was a strange choice. She bumped into it, actually bumped it into perfect position. Excellent shot, really. What do we know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> When she bumped into it, I thought it left it really awkward, yeah. but no, come out really nice. And oh, brilliant. This has come out nice as well. We are at 15 seconds a shot as well, just edged into it. Nine minutes, 22 left. Big shot here. Great pot. Lovely. Not the perfect cue ball, though. This is a very awkward eight ball. She just so cued that so well, too well. And it's just pinged. Shot. And it's in the heart of the pocket. 3-2. 8.55 left on the clock. 
Harriet Haynes to break next. Well, things are going to get very tense out there. And the next eight minutes or so. That was excellent from Harriet. Great opening pot. Good cannon. Good control. Very good. Bang under it as well. Now giving Danielle plenty to think about. She's got to be feeling a lot, uh, apart from the fact that she's actually in a match and she's in the final, she's got to be feeling a lot better, Harriet, because even that black, it was, you know, you're queuing off the cushion, you know, it's it, the, again, it's that point where it's 3-2 and 4-1 is massive with, with the limited time on the clock. And, yeah, I thought she it, that was a great pressure black that she's just took out and she'll now be thinking yeah I've got this because she'll she'll also be thinking oh, I'm putting Danielle under the, under it now um, I just got to keep turning the screw sort of thing so yeah ruthless Ru yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> and she got the break right puts everything into it and oh. that, how's that yellow not dropped <laughs> yeah disapproval very disapproving look. Oh, these are on, but again, awkward. Extension called. Okay, into the visit on yellows. Not the right angle on the yellow above the left center pocket. Not sure there's anything else on. So she's going to have to pick a window here. And See there, that yellow in the middle of the table goes. I think we just caught a glimpse of that. The yellow above the red, yeah. I think, actually goes into the corner. She's having a very good look at it. There you go. That helped a lot. Excellent. And this is nice. If she can just drop it in straight enough, she might have to play more of a shot, actually. She's got too much angle. Does she look to hold on the red? Or oh. Could do with missing it, unless that goes to the top corner. Even if not, I think she's got enough angle just to stun up through the gap. Stun up through the gap. Leave the yellow yeah. to the bottom left, and then it gets you the eight ball. But it does go to the court. Oh, she's got the pot, not the cue ball. I think you were right. The possibly yellow to, to bottom right, and just draw it up. Yeah, and then you just drop the the yellow in. Or if you you're not feeling confident on the yellow, the eight ball to the top left, you you take it. She's got to be careful not to. Oh, that's a foul anyway. She was trying not to time foul. Ball in hand. It's very tough when you need to use yeah. the rest. Yeah, I think maybe the other way around. But if, if she stops that dead, yeah. then that one to the bottom corner, it, she's going to leave herself a shot on the eight ball up the table. So it wasn't a bad choice, just let the cue ball move too far. Well, Harriet needs to hold herself together here. If she does, it's 3-3. Three, three. And we're going to have oh, four and a half, five minutes left. Get the eight ball out here. Could compromise position. Could compromise position. Oh. And it has. Again, it's almost a free shot, shot to the top right, though, because she's going to be coming across this side of the table. Yeah, yeah. Confidently potted. Long straight pot now. This one goes in, the next two are from Malati. On, oh, I say the next two are from Malati, you've got to pop that one. And she's left Danielle a pot with a natural. Yeah. Just got to make the pot here. There's pressure on. Yeah. Nice little flick on that red. Without the flick on the red, she might have left an awkward eight ball. Yeah. She hasn't. She's left a perfect eight ball. This is for a two-frame lead. This is massive. What a miss from Harriet. 
Come on, Davis. Come on. Wow. I think Harriet was just trying to pinch a bit of the pocket to keep to, to make it a bit straighter, but there was not necessarily any need for it. No, I, th I think it's just a pressure pot, isn't it? It's just that as well. I mean, yeah. it, <laughs> if, if you're in the club, <laughs> knocking about, you don't miss that. But that Never. pressure of a final, and that was essentially that was the eight ball. If she makes that, she can't miss the next two. No. It's it would have been three three, and it's well, it's, she's got it all to do once again. With five minutes left on the clock, there is a lot of work now for Harriet to do. And Danielle makes a ball. She can control the next frame. At 3 1, I was saying that she didn't ne doesn't necessarily need to chase a finish. Well, now at 4 2, she makes a ball or she gets a chance here. She absolutely doesn't need to chase a finish. No. Mess the table up. <laughs> Two frames ask a massive question of Harriet. Maybe with, if it gets down to a couple of minutes and you've got five, six balls there, you could pot out, but don't make it easy for Harriet if you're in Danielle's shoes. Again, it's interesting. If you think back literally to one minute, two minutes ago, she was, had, uh, Danielle had her head in her hands because she, the time, she time fouled and how would they get the rest? And it was like, oh, that's it. This frame's gone. And then the next minute, she's sitting there with a big grin, looking like she could quite easily take this event um, and goes into a 4-2 lead. So, again, but that's the beauty of pool. Anything can happen. Yeah, absolutely. And there is still enough time for Harriet to put together a couple of frames here. So it isn't all over. And there's no golden breaks in play. So it has to be two straight, clean wins. Got to make sure these balls are perfect. Certainly giving Harriet plenty of time to think about what she needs to do. Probably more so, plenty of time for Danielle to realize what she's got to do. <laughs> <laughs> There's a probably a bit more going through Danielle's mind than in Harriet's actually. I think also it would it will actually probably benefit Danielle because Harriet's probably going to be chomping, whereas Danielle is it time to stay calm again? You could see her sort of sitting there working on her breathing and focusing and yeah. trying to sort of stay calm. Yeah. She inside she will not be calm. <laughs> Let's see what she's got here then. Well, that's my number one advice to everybody. Remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. <laughs> Oh, she flushes it, oh. and she makes a couple of balls. What's she got? Yeah. There's uh, two problem yellows if she wants to go yellows. There's more problem reds. Difficult one here. Yellow balls in play. Really difficult here for her to decide what to do. She plays the yellow in the middle, uh, looking from the overhead, I'm not sure if it's on, from the from the main camera, it looked like she played off the red. Play off the red, then would have opened up the pocket for that yellow potentially to the top. Yeah. Now she's looking at the yellow off the red. I wasn't sure if that one was on, but must be. I think it is, yeah. This goes in, it's a good chance. What a oh. shot. So oh, not quite open up the final yellow. I wonder if she, she could squeeze it in. Go cushion first. Go cushion into the red and then in, in like in off the red. Looks like it. Might have to get quite deep into it. Yeah. Side cushion and then in off the red, I think. But again, at least at worst case, she'll take take the pocket. And again, waste a bit more time. What a shot. That's a great what shot. What a brilliant shot. Has she got the gap for the eight ball? No. That's harsh. It's a one cushion, though. It's a one cushion. Eight ball left centre for the title. It's a great effort. It's killed half the match clock. Harriet has to fly. 
And she's not going to. Here we go, Danielle Randall. This eight ball for her first title. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely incredible. A brilliant performance from Danielle Randall. Gets her hands on her first title. She can celebrate now. Celebrates with her family. She's worked so hard to get her hands on this title. This will mean so much. So well deserved. She's, again, like I said before, she's been to so many finals, semi finals over the years, and and this is now she's she's getting the rewards for all her hard work. And yeah, I'll, I almost feel very proud of her because I've known her since she was so young, but yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Danielle Randall has worked so hard to get her hands on this title. It is fully deserved, and she'll be getting her hands on the trophy very, very shortly. Join us again in a couple of minutes for the presentation. Welcome back down to the arena. The Women's Series has now put on another great show for us. All the ladies involved put on a real field performance and a great show for us to enjoy, especially our finalists. Let's hear it for both of them. It was another great run through to the final. Let's ask Harriet to come up and have a few words. Hurry up, Harriet. Hard luck, Harriet. Harriet, another great run through to the final, but just couldn't quite get, in, get going in that final. Well, I had a chance to never frame, didn't I? So, yeah, just not good enough in the last last ball. Um, for the latter half of the match, I was, you know, playing well, and then I'd just come on the cushion and that missed that straight, straight black, uh, uh, the straight um, red, just trying to create an angle, and that was it. Like, you know, if you miss that, if it, well, if I get that, then it's 3-3 three, three with four minutes left. Pressure's on Danielle, but... Fair play to Danielle. I mean, her first like ultimate pool title, and she deserves it. So fantastic. Well done, Danielle, and well deserved. Yeah. yeah great, great words, Harriet. You must be really pleased. I know that you've made it through the final, and, and making finals isn't what you want. You want to win these titles, but it's another brilliant performance to get through to the final, and you just you're there or thereabouts every single time. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you have a look at my draw today, Danielle. Um, prior to that, Emma. Um, Kirsty, uh, Craggy, and Lucy. Um, so if I went through Danielle as well, I think that would have been the full set, basically, other than Babs. So, you know, such is life. That well played to Danielle, and she deserved it today. And hopefully we can come back in March and uh, regain my number one spot, please. Thank you. Well, congratulations on a, a great tournament once again. Well, it really was a brilliant tournament all the way through and a brilliant final. Let's get Danielle up for a few words before we hand her the trophy. <laughs> Danielle, congratulations. I know how much this means to you, but that really was a brilliant performance all day long. Thanks, Simon. Um, yeah, just today I just started playing and I felt really confident. Um, I got a new cue at Christmas and that seems to just brought me on leaps and bounds. I feel like I can cue ball okay now. Um, yeah, I kind of had uh, an easier draw, draw than what Harry had, um, but I suppose I have to be who's in front of me. When I had Amy, it was tough. I got a bit of luck, got over the line, had Harriet in the final. Um, yeah, I knew it was going to be tough, but yeah, I'm glad to get the win, finally. You've worked so hard. We, you know, we see you in these tournaments and we know how much it means to you and you put so much time in. I mean, you sat there 3-0 up and then it's pegged back to 3-2. What's going through your mind? Are you just trying to stay focused on what's ahead? I mean, you must be thinking about that trophy and the pressure and everything else. Yeah, definitely, especially from a first one. Um, yeah, I just wasn't sure if it was my time. Once 3-0, I was looking at the clock. It was like 19 minutes. I said, try run the clock down a bit. She came back 3-2 and said, no, it's, it can't happen. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just tried to make the most of it. And luckily, yeah, I just got there in the end. I mean, it's been an in incredible performance all day long. You've dropped so few frames. At what point today do you think you were playing, the, your game was right where it needed to be to win this title? To be honest, um, I had a few times where I might have looked a few balls that might have been turning points in the matches earlier, and I said, when this happens, I think it's your time. Um, but yeah, I mean, the two five ones and then five nils in the quarter, um, yeah, I was definitely feeling, feeling confident, and I said, 
I know once I got to the final stages, my head, that battles with me more than anything, but um, yeah, I was able to fight this time. Well, congratulations. You waited long enough. You worked hard enough. I think it's time to get the trophy out and get your hands on that trophy. Paul Neil Thompson to hand you the trophy. Incredible performance and a very popular winner. Danielle Randall gets her hands on her first women's series title. This one will mean an awful lot.